Hello guys, it's Inya here. In this video, I want to talk about the use of English in ASEAN. What we do, there are short description about English in the representative countries in ASEAN, and then there are types of slang word that usually used by representative countries, and a model video of people from representative countries were spoken with their dialect. And these is are the flag of representative ASEAN countries that I want to explain in this video. There are Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Thailand, and Indonesia. First, there is Singapore. Singapore has three main language, English, Malayu, and Hokkien. However, the English that they use is not a regular English that we usually learn in textbook. They produce a dialect called Singlish, where it stands as Singapore English. The dialects were mixed by English, Layu, Hokkien, Mandarin, Cantonese, and Tamil language. There are five words that Singapore people are usually use. First, there are Paise. Read Paise. The word Paise is often used to express when someone is too courtly to ask or say. The example of the word is, I'm paise to ask Grimm's Hemsworth for a selfie. Two, there is atas. The word atas means up in Malayu, but in Singlish, it often used as an adjective to express someone who came from high class. The example of the word is, he is to atas to be caught dead eating at Hauke Center. 3. There are CO. The word CO has equivalent meaning with are you out of your mind? It's an Hokkien language and usually people use this expression if they were in the situation. The example of the word is She thinks I can get up. She thinks I can get from Pasiris to Jurong in 10 minutes? Show! Sure. The four is kiasu. The word kiasu means that someone has a fear of missing out, so they always have a recent update about everything, especially gossip. And lastly, there is tabao, means food delivery. And now let's take a look of people who use English word. Hey, one more or not? Ah, can can faster 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 come come lie 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 lie. What you mean? Hey, Xiao ah! Don't one, don't one, don't one. That one cannot ah, spoil already. Hey, long time no see lah, I thought you die already. Hey, why you kai po already? Your mother never teach you ah. Chao, chi. Second, we have Malaysia. Similar with Singapore, Malaysia has also three main language. Malayu, English, and Hokkien. Their dialect is also similar with Singapore. However, Malaysia tends to be more Malayu than Singapore. Malaysian also more fluent than Singapore in English because Malaysia was colonized by United Kingdom. And now, let's take a look at the slang that Malaysian people are usually use. First, there is capster. Capster means a nosy person. People are usually use this to describe someone or a group of people who simply cannot keep their noses out of all their affairs, constantly spreading rumors and asking personal questions. They drive friends to certain madness without effort and sometimes without them even knowing. Second, there is D, a ridiculous oversimplification of the word already. Third, there is maluation, means to embarrass or be an embarrassment. Fourth, there is potong steam. Potong steam basically means kill joy, which is used to refer to someone being a wet blanket or a good Mormon being ruined. Five, there is boss. Not to be confused with your actual boss at works, it's Malaysian usually used to the workers or the customer in their typical style. And now, let's take a look at Malaysian people using English.
speak Manglish? Um, of course lah, I can. Abu then I was born and bred in Malaysia. My accent got a bit chachat lah, but I can still talk it. But uh, I hope you can still understand. Also, a lot of people have asked me if I went to international school in Malaysia with all the rich kids because I have very good English. Um, no, I went to a Laoya school. I went to SMK uh, Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan, uh, SMK Chunghua Miri, shout out, Chop Up Chunghua. Um, actually, no, like, it was a very good school. Third, Indonesia. Unlike the other two, Indonesia has Malaya roots, but it didn't affect their English. Indonesia can imitate UK and US accent perfectly. However, there were the praises or the words they usually use when socialized with other people, especially for people in big cities such as Jakarta. This is the phrase that most Indonesian people use in their sentence. Take a look at the video to know how Indonesian people use that in the sentence. Oh, udah lama banget gak ketemu sama lo, long time no see banget. How's New York? Are you still there? Wah, gila, like literally I, I really miss you. I really every moment that we spend together. Like, oh my god, Rio, it's such a long time. Gila, literally gue kangen banget sama lo. Normally kita tuh selalu jalan-jalan kan bareng-bareng. I'm so bored with that. Fourth, Philippines. Unlike the other three who put English as their secondary language, Philippines use two languages on their daily activity. They are Tagalog and English. However, there will still any difference between usual English and Pinoy's English. First, pirate. In usual English, pirate means to attach and a plunder a ship. While for Filipinos, pirate means to hire someone away from another company, like a poach in American English. Second, there is comfort room. In English, there is no such term of comfort room. While for Filipinos English, comfort room means bathroom. For the example, excuse me, may I use the CR? It's probably comfort room more common to hear CR. Third, they are flyover. In usual English, flyover means plants or usually fighter jets passing over and even ceremonially. While for Filipino English, flyover means a bridge as for a road or train tracks. And the fourth, there is ref. In English, in usual English, it means short for rivery, while for Filipinos, ref means short for refrigerator. And the last, there is nosebleed. In English, nosebleed is when you bleed from your nose, while for Filipinos, nosebleed has same literal me meaning of that, but idiomatically, it's meant to be overwhelmed and perhaps confused usually with complex English. Last, there is Thailand. Thailand did not use English as their secondary language because Thailand's language itself is already complicated. However, there is a unique pronunciation of Thailand people when pronounce English word or phrases. And now, let's take a look at video. สวัสดีครับโอ้ยมีหลอกมาตายแยกเส้นสมาย Strawberry. Handsome boy. Boy. Why are you so much handsome boy? You wanna push strawberry? And thank you for your attention. See you.